hello guys uh, we have this 3g module want to change this 3g module want to change it into a 2g module uh, it will have to show up like something like this after we have we have done with it so without further wasting much time let's go right into it so i'll move to top view so what i need to do is delete this first so that you see how it's done then delete this and this again so what you need to do again again this in this case we want this to be three so we select this again we say multi copy select one two, one three three of a kind so whatever you do first one here the second one being here and the third one as it is so the first one we need to rotate this into the view that you want so you use 3d rotate to select the object anyone again sorry let me start again you, you select you can use this again for the rotate you select the object it will give you a circle like this if you don't know how to rotate or move in 3d we have a the video i will post the link below to show you how to rotate so in this case i want to rotate it in the i think it's this this axis i need to rotate it by 180 so that it can be in the view that you want to remember we want to change this it has to look like something like this after we are done so the first one is okay the other one has to be like this so by doing so there is a two rotation is the most that you're going to be using again 3d rotate or you can select here again in this case i have already selected rotate so i will rotate this one in in the i think it will need the x sorry it's not the x axis but the uh, y axis i want to rotate in the y axis i would now want to rotate it by 90 degrees so that it can face top like this then i then rotate it in the x x axis sorry let me see no in the y axis remember you have to play around with this and see where the diagram is let me see which axis do i want in this case you select the axis then you check if it's rotating in the form that you want then press 90 okay this one we are done let me go back again and check the other view that you want so we want the other view to be facing on top so go back again select this one rotate it in the y-axis by 90 degrees then you press enter as you can see already we have our our three uh views that you want so move them in, into place okay move this one select it move it here this one uh you select it sorry i want to move it in the uh y axis up to here this one you can actually even choose the move uh that you are used to in 3 in 2d just move it can okay, make sure you select one object at a time this one move then i select it i put it here so after this what you need to do is to change into into our 2d work frame which is our drafting and rotation frame so you go here you select then you change to a 2d drafting and rotation then you need to change the view again you go here change from conceptual to 2d wireframe select 2d wireframe in 2d wireframe we have something like this but remember this is still in 3d as you can see you can't select 
when you are selecting you can select the whole thing and you can when you want to remove uh, these other lines you can't so what you need to do for me you go to from here there is a command that you need to type in but before you type in that command you need to have at least a go to linear dimensions you need to uh, to have one day at least one dimension of the point of this that you know uh, how it is so it's from here to here this is the dimension that you might use you can change it in this case it's 90 so remember the dimension that we have uh, done and it's 90 now we have no use for this so from there you select the first object then you type in this command which is flatten then press enter then you remove it uh, lines then you say no then you press enter as you can see it's done you can either zoom out you will see where it is or you can press it enter then like if you don't know where it is again you can press it enter then you press e then you press enter you will find where it is then now mark the all of this then now we have to move it from here because whenever i press that command it will move the objects up to there the flatten command go back again you will see what i'm saying select the second object then you press again flatten you are making it from 3g to 3 to 2g then again no then you press enter as you can see oh it's still loading as you can see these objects have changed into bigger objects it's still loading after it, yes it's now done as you can see it comes to the same position again you select all of it remove it to a position that you want if you notice even if the third one will still come exactly where this one again, you select the last one again the same command flatten then you press enter then you, uh, remove then you say no again then enter then that's the last then you move it select it then you move it this is our drawing in 2d but remember these drawings are a bit bigger than the ones that we had so remember the area that uh, the point that we measured earlier again you measure the dimensions for that point it was from this point up to that point Sorry. Okay, that point. Let me see. Let me see which the dimensions. It's now three, five, four, one. So what you do? Remember, want to make it smaller. So the ninety will come. Then you divide the ninety divided by the three, five, four, one, so that you can get the scale that you need to use. To make this uh, to get this uh, diagram to scale then i will delete this line so i will select everything here then i will scale it go to scale remember we said 90 uh, divided by the uh, that number uh 3541 if i'm not mistaken so the number the, the answer that you get will come you become your scale factor uh, remember to remove the auto uh, so it's now uh, 0, 0, 2, 5, 4, 1, 6, 5, 5. Then you press enter. The correct position. Move. Select a point. Move it to where it's supposed to be again. Again, I select these two. Then I move them. The position there are supposed to be it. 
uh, this is how you do it guys thanks for watching uh, you, you can now delete the point, the lines which are not supposed to be showing or you can even uh, measure here to check if the the length is now correct so measuring here checking is 90 then I will delete this so now from there from here this is how you do it you now just have to delete the lines that are not required that that shouldn't be showing like this line and this and this line this line sorry then you delete you trim the lines that you don't want that are not supposed to be showing uh use the trim command you select the lines that which are supposed to be trimmed like this uh thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed uh make sure to like and subscribe so that we continue making the other videos as you can see this now is almost the same with this you now just have to remove the lines that are not needed and putting the dimensions uh good luck guys thank you